Yo, I have no clue how to scream, but I do know how to make a scream of trap. I came across this song called iPhone 12 by Projects. So I decided to make something kind of similar and break it down for you guys. Here's a little preview of that now. I'm getting love wherever I go. I'm in my bedroom, I know that I got it. 150 up, I just made a deposit. All of this cash can fit in my pocket. Me and my squad going up like a rocket. Woo! I'm juiced up today, baby. We going in. Let's start off with the vocals. Starting off, we just got some basic compression and EQ going on. But the real sauce on these kind of vocals is saturation and distortion. I'm in my bedroom, I know that I got it. 150 up, I just made it. Too clean, you know what I'm saying? I need to dirty it up a little bit. D up, I just made a deposit. All of this cash can fit in my pocket. For this kind of style, we got the trash plug in, doing some crispy drive, mix all the way up. Then we got some Ableton stock overdrive at around 30% wet. We got that saturator going dumb at 9.71 decibels. It's really adding a lot of body to it and grit. Got the NS1 right here, just kind of cleaning it up taking out some of the room noise. Then we got a little EQ taking out some lows. Then we got some more trash. Literally just doing the same thing. I don't know why, but I doubled up. Need more of that drive, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you start adding drive and saturation, you need to make sure to DS pretty heavily just to control all the S sounds because otherwise they can get pretty harsh. So we got the Fab Filter Pro DS doing some DSing from six to 14. And this is just really controlling those S sounds. And then a little EQ to finish it off, just cutting in some of the lows. And so for these screaming type parts, we actually have the same chain going on. And see, depending on your taste, you can just mess with the overdrive or the saturation and make it either more distorted or less distorted, depending on what style you're going for. As you can see, you can get some pretty cool tones just with the stock plugins. Next, we're going to go over the bass. I thought it'd be kind of cool to open up the song with a filtered type bass. And here's what that sounds like. Oh yeah, so we got a couple different layers here. First, we got the Siki Astro 808. Shout out to Siki, dude makes sick stuff. Make sure to go cop some kits and show him some love. And here's what it sounds like dry. And then I just started processing it just to make it really nice and beefy. Added some Fab Filter Saturn with the console drive. Then we got a little chain doing some distortion and overdrive. Got the smooth overdrive, mix all the way up. Drive set to two. Let's into that difference. Then we got this plugin Decimort. I actually didn't go with this Decimort, but you can see how you can kind of change the tone with this plugin. If you want to make things really dirty, this plugin's great for that. The way I'm getting that filtered sound is with this auto filter right here. It's just taking out the lows and kind of boosting a little bit of the lower mids with this little resonance right here. And then we got this Diablo plugin. Woof. And what this plugin is doing is we got some soft clip going on, turned all the way up, width turned up, make it a little bit wider with the sizzle, a little bit of heat, then a little bit of EQ to tame all that stuff we just added. Little RC20. Using a plugin like RC20 is really cool for different sections because you can just automate it on, let's say for the verse, and then have it off for the hook. Now this is the super secret sauce for 808 type stuff. What you would do is just copy the 808, take out the low end, and then just to Distort that shit like crazy. Got some Fab Filter Saturn, some Isotope Trash, and then we got the width going out to 294. So we have that big bass sitting in the middle, and then this is kind of occupying the sides. And then we got some more Cymatics Diablo mix turn all the way up, just destroying it with this plugin. It just adds a lot of top end and mid range to it. Another way to mess up 808s is to throw this Redux plugin on there and just mess with the rate and the bits. Another cool plugin to throw on 808s and experiment is this Erosion plugin. I would either mess with the sign or the wide noise. Both of these plugins are great for really dirtying up your 808 and making it sound more shitty, which in today's age means it's good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? After the bass, we got this one little instrument going on. Without the processing. Damn, it actually sounds really bad. But the way you make it dope is throw in a plugin like Halftime and then the little frequency shifter plugin automating the fine. And it's kind of giving it that gross beat type flair. And then we got the drums, and here's what those sound like. The key here is in the sound selection and the processing. Now on that Project iPhone 12 song, I could tell that he kind of bit crushed the clap. And so I used this My Crush Bit Crusher and then the Redux plugin to get that type of sound. 
It kind of gives it that old Game Boy type vibe. Then something to mess with is group processing on drums. Now, a couple plugins I like to use to do this are the Drum Bus plugin, but I didn't use it this time. I actually used the Decimort plugin and the Cymatics Diablo plugin. Let's see what both of those do. Damn. Yeah, you can kind of just hear how the kick like almost clips in a nice sounding way and it just makes everything sound like it's really being pushed hard. Let's see what Diablo is doing. Kind of just adding some excitement to it and beefing it up a little bit. Other than that, we just got a couple of effect sounds kind of transitioning us from section to section. Let's hear what those are. Got a little UFO sound then a kind of horror movie demon type sweep up and then this weird noisy impact. And in case you missed it the first time, here's what all that sounds like together. I'm getting love wherever I go. I'm in my bedroom, I know that I got it. 150 up, I just made a deposit. All of this cash can fit in my pocket. Me and my squad going up like a rocket. And that, my friends, is how you make a project type song. That's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year. Also, if you have any video ideas or ways that I can improve the content, make sure to let me know below. Also, if you need any help at all or have any questions, feel free to reach out on Instagram. I'm always here to help. Regardless of anything though, y'all keep vibing and have an amazing rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Love you.